I love Tactic, but I also love Tactic working with other tools. And in this video, we're gonna dive into our Zapier integration because this tutorial is about how to use Zapier for meeting transcripts with Tactic. So if you go to zapier.com, all you have to do is connect Tactic to over 6,000 apps by going into your Zapier account. And I have a premium account so I can make a multi-step action. But whenever a meeting transcript is ready, a Zap can start. So I'm gonna sign into my account. It's very simple. Just grab the Google authentication or whatever sign in login credentials you have. If you're already logged into your account on your browser, this will actually work perfectly. Then I can test the trigger. And this test trigger will essentially bring forth a test for our meeting transcript being ready. As you can see right here, I have had some previous calls recently, like my beginning of the week manager sync. So if I continue with the selected record, let's follow up further. I wanna show you how I can make this so easy to connect with other tools. You don't even need the premium plan for this, just for a two steps app. So I'm gonna rename this to being called tactic transcript is ready to Slack message in general. So right here, I can use the Slack module to send a message to a channel. You can pick between a just a general channel message, a direct message, and a private channel. I'm gonna pick for uh, just the general chat because I like the team to be kept up on all the different chats that we have. I've already connected my Slack account. You can simply press connect new account and then you can actually grab the ones that you're logged into. Zapier is very cool like that, but I already have this one, so I'm just gonna grab it right here and then continue. All you have to do is pick the channel, right? So let's do general. And then the message text is something that would follow. So I can tell my team, hi, at here, which essentially ats everybody in the channel, a new meeting, and then I'm gonna call it this, just finished up. If you'd like to see the content of the transcript, please check out the link here. Now, when it comes to this, uh, inside of automations, all you gotta do is put this little carrot and then a bracket like that. And at the beginning, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this link to the meeting and then this will essentially make it a hyperlink. It's a lot easier like that. And then I'm gonna rename this from Zapier to something like tactic notes. Uh, you can choose to send it as a bot, which will allow it so that it uh, has a custom message. And I'm gonna change the bot icon to, if we go into Slack, easiest way to do this is if we do write, you can just copy the emoji and it'll paste out in the colon format that'll actually grab the contents of the emoji and spit it out properly in there. I would press no to include link in Zap uh, just to prevent a little bit of uh, clutter. And I would also press no to auto expanding the links. And that's pretty much it. So in order to make this happen, what we would do is we would go into a meeting and with my Chrome extension installed, if I go inside this meeting, you can see that this is transcribing. So it's essentially going to be a tactic training call. I am going to grab this and essentially just showcase to everybody that, hey, this is done. This automation is set up. The second I close this uh, guy out, I'm gonna get a message inside of Slack with the link to the meeting and transcript inside of tactic through my Slack. So let's press leave call and since I already published this, the power of this is gonna work. So it's the beginning of the week and I finished up my weekly sync again. Check this out. Inside of Slack, I got a message that tells me a new meeting, beginning of week sync just finished up. So if I click link here, check it out. I got sent right back to this meeting with this entire transcript and I can use some of these custom prompts in order to get some action items real quick if I'd like. I also inside of this could change it up a bit. I could write out all the different meeting participants if I'd wanted. There's a bunch of different fields that I can choose from to change the message up. But for me, this is good enough. I don't really need anything else. I just need uh, the name and the link. Uh, the participants could help, but that's up to you. It's a very simple and effective process, but it gives you so much value because people now have an immediate reference to the conversation that just took place. Now, another option that you can do with this is not only just send a Slack message, but what if I wanted to do a Notion page as well? So what I could do is I could create a Notion page by creating a database item. And then from there, let's make a new page, right? I'm like my meetings and notes database. So anytime I want, I can go to meetings and notes. I can make the name of this page, the title. I could have the recording URL be the link to the meeting that we had. And I could set it up so that the content 
of the page is the transcription content. And then from there, what I'll do is I'll also just for the date field, all I have to do is go to include date time. I'm gonna do false, so I just want it to be the day of. Or I'm gonna include it actually, and I'm gonna do now. So there's a quick shortcut, I just wanna copy this. It ends up just making it the time uh, that the automation runs, zap meta human now. I'll show you the code on another screen, but you can just copy this simply with two brackets and then paste it in there and it works. And then from there, when the meeting is done, let me show you what this looks like. You'll see inside of my daily tasks page, if I go to my meetings, look at this internal beginning of the week sync and we have the entire transcript in here that's crazy so we actually were able to capture the entire meeting right by simply just setting up a step-by-step -step automation and capturing it so we could also if you do a premium set it up as a multi-step so that it captures the notion it sends it in slack it might even hyperlink to the notion page as well after you learn how to do that anything's possible with this by having the data of the link and the transcription itself, this is gonna be a game changer for your workflow. So I really recommend that you check it out. Combining Tactic with Notion, Slack, and other tools, thanks to Zapier, is gonna be a big level up for you moving forward. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out this one to improve your skills using Tactic even more.